All right, we're gonna learn a little bit about relationships. Relationships in sketch mode. Uh, I'm gonna explain and go through a few of the uh, different types of uh, relationships that can be utilized in uh, the sketch mode. So first of all, we're gonna start off with open or new part. And we get our standard three layouts. I'm just gonna make a, go on the front plane. I'm going to sketch a circle. As you can see right here is one relationship. Now we'll do a second circle. And we'll call that good at the moment. And we'll rebuild. And we'll go back in, edit the sketch. As you can see, we got one little green thing here that looks as if basically what it's saying is, all right, how you can look at the relationships per entity is just right click on the entity and then go to display or delete relationships. It says here, selected any arcs. It says no relationships, but we do know that the center point is coincidental with the triad. So, why? right there, if I pick on the point, it says existing relationships coincidental to zero, which means it's the center of the circle point is locked into that triad. Let's go see if there's any relationships on this one. I'm gonna right click on the center dot. That shows nothing. I'm going to right click on the outer circle as a whole circle and I don't see any relationships there either. And relationships are up here if you want to add relationships. It's under display delete relationships. And what is a fully defined sketch? I'll, I might do that in another video. But that has to do with these colors of the sketches are blue. They are not black. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna make a line just randomly out in the middle of nowhere. Now, to understand one of the relationships that can be used is called tangent, which means any line to a circle will stay tangent to the outside of the circle. So let's go ahead and add a tangent between that circle and that line. So I'm gonna go up here, and I'm going to drop down. I'm going to do Add Relation. Click on that. Opens up this dialog box. I'm going to select a line. And then I'm going to select a circle. It gives us a couple of things. It gives us a tangent. It gives us fixed. Fixed would lock both of those in place and not be able to move. Um, equal curve length. I won't get into that one right now, we're just, I want to use tangent. So I select on tangent. As you can see, it added the little green box with a circle and a line, which is your tangent relationship. So we'll exit out of that. Then I'm gonna do is, if I right click on this line entity, it should show me existing relationship tangent to one. Now did you see how it moved the circle up to the line? Which in this case, what if I want this center point and this center point to be horizontal in this space, I could add that relationship also. Add relations, center point to center point. I'm going to say that I want to force that to be horizontal. See how it brought that down? And now it made a little green box on this center and green box in this center with a straight line, horizontal line in it. So if I right click on this circle and look at relationships, the circle does not have a relationship. 
but the center point does just like before so if I click right click on the center point as you can see it has two relations horizontal and coincidental so now those two centers are locked in horizontal I cannot move this center point I can move it in and out along a horizontal line and see how that the diameter of the circle is changing as I go along because of that tangent relation that forces that diameter to change diameters okay so now what I'd like to do is add a tangent between this line and this circle so go back up here add relation that line and that circle and I want them oh I got three items in here I have the arc this outside arc I have the line line one and then I have point five which is that's why it doesn't have tangent available so I'm just gonna delete highlight and then delete that particular third entity now it comes up with tangent because I only have the arc and the line I'm gonna select that as you can see it adds a little green denotation that that is tangent and we'll do the same for the bottom add relation that circle to this line again I got too many items in there clear section I just want this arc and this line and I want to add tangent then I want to do the same for this one and the line tangent now they are fully it's not fully defined yet and why I say that is there is not any one entity on the screen that is black if it was fully defined all of these entities would be black but what we can do with this take the center point and you can see how I can move that along this line and it's still even outside the line it wants to hold the tangent points between that line it just gets smaller and smaller as you go okay I will get into uh, a video with trimming later but I'm going to trim off these e edges and make a profile so I'm just gonna like I said I'll go get into this later That's a trim function. I can get into more depth with that later. So right now we have a tangent point here. We have a tangent point here of the line to this to the arc. We this is horizontal with see how it purple lighted up each of them when I hit that when I scroll over the top of the green box, see the two things that highlighted purple, the center points of both arcs. So that's kind of what tells me it correlates. And even when you highlight over the top of this tangent, two, two items, two entities turn into purple, which are the two that are tangent. So again, now we can move this center and see how those lines stay tangent all the time. And the other thing is we can grow and expand and it'll always stay tangent to that arc. And I can do that to this side also. But I can't move this arc around because it is locked. The center point is coincidental with the center triad. So I can't move this arc around. This one I can move only, I can't go up and down with it. I can only go in and out with it because we made that horizontal relation. So now let's talk a little bit about fully defined. If I want to fully define this, this profile, let's call it, I'd have to add a smart dimension, give this a dimension, the arc. It's asking for a radius at this time. So let's say the radius 1.5. See how it turned black? That arc is now fully defined because the XY coordinate is locked to the center triad being coincidental to the center. The center of the circle is coincidental to the, to the center of the triad. 
and I also gave it a dimension. So now this arc is fully defined. That's what the black means. If I want the rest of this defined, I'd have to give a few more dimensions, like the center distance. We'll call that six inches. Now, I still didn't define it because we have to give this a radius, too, of one inch. And as you can see, now the, all the lines are black. I didn't have to define the length or anything to do with the angle on the lines because those are the relationship between the arc and the line is tangent. So at this point, now the, I, I can't add any more <clears throat> dimensions to this because you would just be double dimensioning it. And if I try to, what's going to happen it's going to give you this dialog box. Make dimension driven. Adding this dimension will make the sketch overdefined or unable to solve. Do you want to add it as a driven dimension instead? So you can say leave dimension driving, but then it'll leave you with an error. Let's just do that. As you can see, I got two yellow which is telling me it's not black, so it's got an issue. So just select one of those, hit the delete key on the keypad, and now that resolves that issue. So that's basically the tangent relation on a sketch mode. I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this using the stoplight. And I could extrude this then under features, extrude. And I can make that shape there. So that is tangent relationship between the two on a, on a sketch. I'll go ahead and delete the, in order to delete the boss, because the sketch one is the original sketch and then the boss is built off the sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Just the the feature, the extrusion. It's asking me for sure. Now I'm just left with the sketch again. If I want to bring this orientation up to the level that it's on, let's see what uh, I can just click. Okay, right click on the sketch and then hit left mouse button normal 2. And that'll pull me up to the plane that it was built on. What plane was this built on? Looks like the front plane. That's it for now. I'm going to start a new file. Part. I'm going to go off the front plane. I'm going to draw a circle. Lock it to the center. I'm going to do another circle, but what I want to do is make these two circles tangent to one another. So if I go up here to add relation, it already has the arc 2 highlighted, so I'm going to highlight this arc. Now it gives us a couple of uh, relations we can use here. Um, the one I'm concerned about is the tangent one right now. I will make other videos about these other relations. So I'm going to just say they're tangent. What basically happens is anywhere those two arcs would meet is where they're going to hold together all the way around 360 degrees around the circle. So if I move this up straight, it wants to get bigger, or I can move this center around the arc, it's always going to be tangent those two arcs together. That's another way of controlling a tangent point. I hope this understands what tangent is used for. And if we made another circle, oh, I don't want that one. I can add a relation to this circle, to this circle, and make that tangent. Now when I move this one around, it wants to move around that circle there. 
and this will follow along. Now what I could do also is make a tangent relation, add relations, pick this circle and this circle, call those tangent. Now all three of those arcs are tangent on all these three points. See how they follow around? Now I can't move this center one because the relation between the center point and the triad is coincidental. I could delete that. Now I can move this center point around wherever I want. And it always is going to keep these controls in place. And that like before, if I highlight the the relation, it shows which two in purple, the two circles that are tangent with that relation. If I do this one, it'll show those two, and on this one, it'll show those two. I just wanted to add that.